Creating a syllabus that is compliant with the Americans with Disabilities Act, or ADA, is an essential instructor task. As we all know, students come to us with a variety of backgrounds. The content that we use in our courses must be screen reader friendly for a variety of reasons. The person could be blind, visually impaired, have reading difficulties, or other varieties of learning disabilities. This worked example will take you through the step-by-step -step process of creating an accessible syllabus. The objective is, by the end of this tutorial, you will be able to create an accessible syllabus using Microsoft Word. Microsoft Word is often recommended for creating accessible documents. This tutorial will demonstrate creating a brand new syllabus using a template designed for accessibility versus editing one that was created previously. However, the same steps can be implemented in a previously created syllabus as well. It is important to note that copy and paste can pose some formatting problems for the syllabus template, but once you create an accessible syllabus once, you can use it year after year with minor updates. The first step is related to headings. Headings are important because screen readers have a built-in functionality that allows the user to skip from heading to heading. Imagine if you had to read every single document you opened from the beginning to the end every single time. Without headings, the screen reader is having to waste a lot of time trying to determine the navigation of the document. Using headings provides the screen reader with a layout of the document. So, how do we use headings? Well, it is actually pretty easy. You see the styles section here in the home tab? That's where the headings live. Typically, you want to use heading one for the main content items or title. Sometimes you may have a subheading within a sub section in which you can select heading two and then select headings accordingly. With our syllabus template, we have placed the required headings into the template already. The second step is to place the content within the document. Again, copy paste is a bit tricky, so you may have to manually type in the areas labeled click or tap here to enter text. I do want to mention the three dots in the left hand side of where you tap. If you decide that you need to delete the entire section for some reason, please be careful about highlighting the entire field and using the three dots as it will delete the entire box. If this happens, you can press undo using the arrow in the upper left corner of the screen. As you navigate through the sections required by GFC MSU that we have placed in the template, you will reach the Outcomes Assessment Alignment table. You will likely have more than one course objective, so simply right-click anywhere in the second row of the table, select Insert, and then Insert Rows Below to make another row. You may find that you need to move some text within your document. Please use the paragraph spacing options to do so. All you need to do is click on what you would like to move and from the paragraph spacing options, select remove space before paragraph or add space after paragraph. Using the paragraph spacing options will ensure that the document does not contain blank characters. Enter in space both great blank characters in the document and the screen reader will read them as blank character. If the paragraph spacing options are used, the screen reader will move on to the next paragraph or heading. The third and final step after placing headings and adding the content is to verify that the document is accessible by using the Accessibility Checker. To access the Accessibility Checker, click File, Check for Issues, 
and then check accessibility. Errors and tips will appear along with suggestions on how to fix the problem. Follow the directions and then save your syllabus for future use. You are now able to complete a syllabus on your own. Complete the entire syllabus process for your other courses. You are welcome to send an attachment of your syllabus to the instructional designers for review. We would be happy to review it. Thank you for watching.